Hello, good morning everybody. <clears throat> As we are coming from the last class, there we will discuss about what is economics, the definition. Regarding this definition of the economics, there are four landmark definition that is popular. Actually, if we go, there are a number of definitions are there, thousands of definitions given by thousands of economists, but the four definitions which are considered that who changes, which changes the study of economics. Among them, the first one that we will discuss, number one, wealth definition. Wealth definition by Adam Smith. Adam, Adam Smith. Adam Smith, who is uh, considered as father of economics, Adam Smith, who first written the book, the, uh, the, an, an inquiry about the wealth of a nation, which is considered the first scientific book of economics in this planet. Uh, uh, and he wrote that book in 17, 1776, in the year 1776. So there he said that economics is a study about the wealth of a nation, whatever wealth is there. Because at that time, there was no such there is a less number of democratic countries, there are less number of republic countries, so ultimately there was a monarchy system. So what was the duty of monarchs? Protect the boundary, maintain the law and order, looking after the judiciary, except that the monarch didn't do anything. But with the process of time, as the democracy came into the existence, the welfare states are happening. And that welfare state welfare state you know the other activities is carried out by the state authority but during Adam Smith's time there was no so there was the study about that how much wealth is in the country that is and the second one is welfare definition definition by Alfred Marshall Alfred Marshall so Marshall, Marshall added something new along with the Adam Smith definition. What Marshall said, yes, it is the study about the wealth of a nation. Nation does wealth of the world, but it will study the wealth of the world. But it will utilize the wealth of the world in the world. To study about that is economics. So this is one. And remember one thing, the definition is given by Adam Smith, it was long back. In between the welfare definition, there is another hundreds of definitions that can and gone, but these two is accepted. Similarly, third number, there is also another definition that is called scarcity definition given by Lionel Robbins. And lastly, the modern definition given by Paul Samuelson, that is the good definition that which nowadays we discuss. So these are these four definitions. In between that, I told you thousands of definition camps have gone came and gone but those are not that effective but these four definitions are effective okay thank you for today